guys, welcome back to Aria Moore's Makeup Room where we learn and grow together. I am back with another eyeshadow tutorial and then guys, I am actually showing you how I did my eyebrows. It's my first eyebrow tutorial on this channel. Super excited! Moving up in the world. I have a photo shoot that I am actually late for per usual, but I had to show you guys the process of me getting ready for this photo shoot. I am doing like a mother nature themed photo shoot, so we have to make sure that we went in with the green eyeshadows so i'm showing you how to achieve a nice beautiful all natural look using green everybody's scared of green guys but anyway before we get into the video make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you are new here welcome give this video a nice big thumbs up and leave some comments down below all right guys let's get it let's go Okay, so what I like to do before starting my eyebrows is I like to use a translucent setting powder as well as an eyeshadow brush. And you know what I'm saying? Play with your eyebrows a little bit. But I just go ahead and let whatever fall into the top and dip my brush in. Go ahead and shake it out. And then I just brush over both of my eyebrows. During this time... I do try to make sure that it's actually blended into my eyebrows and I'm not leaving like big chunks of setting powder just sitting there. So I take my time and just work it into my eyebrows. This step is super important because what it does is it prevents a lot of buildup around your brows. And especially since I use like a pomade, it keeps it from being runny and keeps everything in place nice and smooth for the entire day. So then I actually go in with a glue stick with my spoolie and I bring my eyebrows down. This is something that's very, very new to my routine. So I really wanted to show you guys what I do. I am going from side to side now to make sure that all of my hairs are nice and coated with that glue. Sometimes you'll notice that the glue will flake up. Now that is why you can go and purchase some um, actual eyebrow glue from like Sephora or Ulta or even online. Um, I find that I don't like to spend money on just any old products. So if it's something that I can just use at home and save money and have a cheaper route, that's what I'm going to go for in general. So having the glue on hand helps me a lot. It works. It's just time consuming like you want to pat your eyebrows and get them nice and flat and then you might have to pull some little you know pieces from the glue off but I don't honestly I don't mind doing it like it's cheap this glue stick cost me like freaking one dollar from the dollar store versus going and spending like 24 to 30 dollars on a small container of eyebrow wax that's just going to go very very quickly because it goes very fast and they achieve the same results guys i promise you the results are the same so you guys see me here i'm just rubbing everything off of my eyebrows and yeah i don't really know what else to say but you guys get the gif of what's happening here <laughs> Everything is nice and flat. Y'all try to make sure that my eyebrows are actually flat and not bulky because that's what's going to really help the final look really smooth and natural. So here's my pomade and I'm going to be using my angle brush. I am lightly packing the product onto my brush. Now I used to really dig in very, very deep. I don't do that anymore. I just need a little bit of product because a little bit actually goes a very long way. So now I'm lining my under eyebrow in shaping my eyebrows to my liking guys you have to do it the way that you like it you can follow the exact technique that i'm using um or just do it however you want to do them i want mine to look thinner but full at the same time like it depends on what look i'm doing and my head's big y'all so i can't have too thin of eyebrows okay because you can make your eyebrows really really thin and use concealer and make it look flawless but my hair will look like a fucking hot air balloon if i did that but anyway so i did the same thing at the top and the trick to the top of your eyebrows is you need to place that pomade right where the hair starts okay right where the hair starts guys not all the way above it not below it right where the hair starts that way you can follow the arch of your eye and make it look as natural as possible okay and the best part is you can clean up with the concealer so if you make a mistake keep going boo keep it moving 
So yeah, and then you use your um, spoolie to kind of brush out everything just to kind of blend it out. And we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'm just dragging everything, creating that end point. Notice that I'm going above where my um, eyebrow actually starts. And that's because I wanted that arch to be a little bit higher. So I will place concealer on that piece that kind of hangs out. And you won't even know it. You won't even know it. So we're just filling in everything, making it nice and smooth, guys. You see how I'm right there where it actually starts? And you got to start in the middle. I don't know why starting in the middle is so important, guys, but it is important. Like, I've started at the end before and worked my way over, and I was like, what the world? So I raised my eyebrow, and then I started in the middle, and it made all the difference. And actually, when someone actually taught me how to do my eyebrows, she kept telling me to start in the middle, and I didn't do it. And I was wondering why my eyebrows always look like shit. So start in the middle. Now it's time to go ahead and clean up these brows with our concealer. I am using a lighter shade because I know I need that green to pop when I put it on my eyes. So y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going in, shaping everything, blending everything out, making everything nice and even. Ooh, yes. Y'all, it looks so freaking amazing all the time. Like, I just love this port. And um, now I'm going in with um, concealer that is actually my shade to do the top. You guys don't see me do that all the time. Uh, sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't. But for this particular look, it worked out. Mm -mm -mm. We are going to use Juvia's Place. This is the Armal Army Rebel Army Palette. Whatever. It's all green, guys. And it is beautiful. It's just so pigmented. I love Juvia's Place. And these are the colors I'm going to be using. So let's go. You see me? I'm hyped up. Like, okay, let's go. So I went into that green. And then I went over that green with the green that was diagonal from it. So I'm not sure if you guys are going to see me do that part. But I did the dark green first. And then the one dot. Oh, excuse me. I burped diagonal from it. Um, I was watching this little funny Netflix series about um some guy who was called from God to like put the word out about God or whatever and it was like super super funny to watch and, it, and then once it was over I was like this show was so freaking corny but I love me some corny shows but anyway I just shaped my um eyelid area in the way that I would have preferred everything to lay out and sometimes when I do this part I'll be like I'm about to just leave it just like it's going about my day because this be looking cute to me like is it just me but like this like right here just be looking cute to me like I need to do something different like this so I'm going to go over with the other Juvia's Place. And this is just like a brown transition shade. The reason why I did this is because I wanted to add another color to the look without doing too much. So yeah. Now we got this one, guys. Okay. I'm over here looking like a freaking dragon. I'm looking like a dragon. With this cap on my head. And then those little two brown points that just look like it was just thrown there. Because baby girl could have blended some more. But that's okay because once I start to go in with my foundations and my concealers, all of that starts to just look good. You know what I'm saying? It does what it needs to do. So we're going to go in with our white concealer. And we're going to shape that cut crease. Y'all know I love me a cut crease. I'm literally about to start using some different products for my cut crease. Because I'll be seeing girls videos on TikTok and Instagram. And they be having some real good, good eyeshadow base. And it be looking real thick. And I be like, y'all don't never be tagging where y'all be getting this stuff. And y'all just be posting the content. Like, okay, yeah, my stuff is the shit naive. And then I'll be like, so, but where do I get it from? And I don't ever know. So, in the meantime time in between time concealer it is you know what i'm saying okay so we're gonna go back into that other palette and we're gonna use this metallic green and we're gonna push down because we need all of this we need almost the whole palette for this look okay so i had to dig 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 and pat 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 all that color on and let it just build up now since i was doing like a mother nature i was just like i don't want the eyeshadow looks to be too perfect I literally wanted to look like somebody just threw grass all over me and it was there. And it just happened to be cute. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Is that a good explanation? 
Yeah, so we was packing that green out. So basically is all I'm saying is pack that green out. Pack it on, pack it on, pack it on, pack it on, pack it on. Because why not? This is your eyes, it's your look, it's whatever you want it to be, however you envision it to be. And this is the way that I envision it to be. I envision it to be like this. Kind of bold and cute and bold and all that and bold and me. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, you guys, per usual, I had to go ahead and invite you guys over to my main channel which is my podcast late nights with ari on youtube guys link in the bio or the description box i'm used to saying bio but y'all know what i mean it's down there click that link and subscribe to the channel and check out my podcast also subscribe to this channel because i know at this point yeah, <laughs> you need to go ahead and subscribe drop some comments down below guys because look i've been needing some advice and some tips and stuff too like come on now show your girl some love but anyway, y'all see, y'all see what's happening. So I finished that look with some pearls. Those are pearls, baby. Threw my eyelashes on, finished my face out, threw that wig on with them butterflies, baby. And this was the final look for my photo shoot. Also, thank you to SC Designs for this beautiful necklace and earring piece. I am actually one of her ambassadors and I just love this piece. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.